Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to another day of the video. Diane, how's it going today? Today, it's uh, twenty past seven. We're early again. I'm always early. Um, and yeah, we, we're up ready for work. Basically, today is actually going to be a long ass day. Um, <laughs> to be honest with you, I'm going to work now. We're having a full full sized uh, Friday, even though normally we normally go in an hour late um, because it's Friday. What well, we're we're doing we're we're going in because. Uh, stuff's going on that's important that we need to be there for. We, well, we don't need to be, but we want to be. Um, which is bizarre. I'm actually quite surprised that um, it wasn't even... Like, I wanted to go in an hour, like, on time today. An hour early. But <laughs> I was expecting Lewis, because Lewis is very much like, he doesn't like working full, full length Fridays because they're boring. And he's doing more boring stuff than I am. So I was like, oh, if he doesn't want to, then I guess I can, I can not... But then he was like, hey, it was actually his to do it. He brought it up. I was going to say, I was in the car. I was coming home yesterday and I was like, um, so, Lewis, do you, uh... And then before I even started that sentence, he was like, should we do a one tomorrow? I'm like, yeah, yeah, I love it. But yeah, that's, today's going to be a long day. I've got some dev stuff to do at work. Got to wrap unit tests around what I've already done. Um, it should be relatively simple to unit test because it's only a simple thing. Um, the, the difficulty was, um designing it in a way that could be unit tested that was a problem um that we, but i've already gone through that yesterday uh then otherwise we're going to be moving on to the facade make sure our facade's working okay um slash exists i don't know how much paul's done on it because oh. um so we'll see and i'm working with him push him a bit to get get his stuff done um and then we will be doing other stuff it's quite foggy today we're looking out window looking out bloody window um but yeah, that's that's the that's the whole plan and stuff around that kind of things at work. Uh, but otherwise, we're going to be leaving work at half past four, getting back here, having a curry for dinner, which is in the fridge at the moment. Um, and then tonight it's going to be quite go go go. I've got to put away my washer, which is now dry because I put the heating on for an extra long amount of time this morning. I'm actually going to turn my heating off now before I forget and leave it on all weekend. Um, and I'm also going to be. Uh, Packing a bag to go to Thingy. I spent so much time yesterday cooking and doing my car and stuff that I didn't have time to do any of that kind of stuff, unfortunately. So I'm going to be uh, packing a bag, throwing a bag together, stuff. Um, I'm aiming to leave like after seven, so I've technically got loads of time. I'll be, I've got like two hours to pack and eat and go. And dinner is only quick. It's literally like takes 20 25 minutes to cook and I don't need to be there <laughs> it only takes that long because I've got to cook the rice and rice takes 18 minutes um but yeah curry is like very much you just whack it on and just let it let it heat itself up while I do other things um but yeah that's my day today it's gonna to be quite busy uh, I'm gonna be on the long road to Nottingham 580 miles um I've done quite a lot of, I've nearly done a thousand miles already in my car it's not bad is it I've done well but yeah um bounce Group of yeah, it's 25 past half. I'll go now. <laughs> I just turn up a little bit earlier at Lewis's. Roll out. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to that. Um, it's the evening time. Back from work. Um, pretty exciting day today. We were testing things. We were doing the old switcheroo, testing live environments, which is exciting. Um, we sent like our bit of code. My our bit of code that I've been working on went onto live boxes for 15 minutes. For two windows of 15 minute tests, uh, brought it back down, examine all the data, check it, and it's going to be going live on Monday, in theory. <laughs> but otherwise, it's been quite a productive day to do with um, testing and um, writing unit tests and stuff, refactoring things. It's been alright, it's been good fun. It's been good fun, it has lad, it's been jolly good fun. Um, got quite a considerable amount of stuff done, and other people haven't. Also, I've legit got a tooth coming out of my like gum. It's like a wisdom tooth, but it's like a full-size tooth, and I can legit like feel it. I'm alarmed at how big it is. I just assumed wisdom teeth were like small teeth, like baby teeth again. But it's like a full-sized adult tooth, just like I'm fucking yolo, mate. And I can feel it. It sticks out of my gum like here. On the side of my mouth, and then it's coming up there. I'm also, I need to shave. I'm going to shave tomorrow. Uh, it's a tactical decision. I'm not just being a tramp. Um, but yeah, it's like um, I'm alarmed at how much of a tooth it is. <laughs> I've like felt it for a, for a long time, but I've never really like put my finger on it. I'm like Jesus Christ, it's a full size tooth because I can feel it like there, 
But like if you go along the gum, you can feel like the contours of the entire molar. It's quite creepy. I feel like, um, like um, you know that horror movie <laughs> where that girl has uh, like teeth down there. That's what I feel like in my mouth. In my mouth, inside my mouth has teeth apart from the teeth you can see. Watch out. That's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. Um, but yeah, otherwise, I'm back. I'm making myself some curry, which is boiling away, get the rice boiling away. Um, so all I need to do, well, no, I need to put the rice into the water that's boiling away. And why have I got an empty cardboard box of rice? So lazy sometimes. Unreal. You. I obviously took it out. I just couldn't be bothered to put it back or something. God. God damn it. I am. A lazy, lazy mo- I do that all the time though with um, painkiller tablets. You guys think I'm really productive, I'm not, I'm really lazy. That kind of shit, I'm just not very good at. Just, uh, I can never teach myself to do it properly. Um, now there, me recycling. Rice is on go, I need to set timers, and I need to start putting aside some stuff that needs packing, essentially, is what I'm doing now, because I've got, like, a small pile of clothes there. That's literally everything I've got so far that I'm taking. So, that's what I'm doing for the rest of the evening. Um, it's nearly six o'clock. I'm aiming to leave roughly close to, um, roughly at least close to that time. You know that time? Seven. But it's not going to happen. It's probably going to end up leaving after seven. But YOLO, mate. YOLO. Um, it doesn't really matter. Uh, basically, the later I leave it, the better, uh, because the motorway is just going to be emptier. So <laughs> there's no real big deal for um, any other thing. I need to timer though. I'm not going to lie to you, it is great knowing that I don't have to um, flip my man bread. Oh, I'm going to crack it a bit. I didn't know. Um, it's, it's great, like, it doesn't matter if I don't leave on time. And it's great just going, what should we take? Can everything, it fits in the boot. It's brilliant. Like I've got, I've got this, this is just clothes. <laughs> yeah, I don't need to. The reason it's that thick, it's got a hoodie in. I'm not taking this hoodie. Um, and it's got my um, dressing gown in. It's why it's so big. It's also got my toiletries in. Spare shoes, although I'm going to be taking three pairs of shoes. I want those ones to be fixed. I'm taking them to Nottingham to be fixed because it'll cost me like £20,000 to fix it in Bristol because Bristol's a rip-off. Um, an apple because Dad wants an apple. And my snooker cue. And all I need now is electrics. So chargers, I, laptop, all that kind of crap. We're doing good, lad. We're doing good. Easy, easy. Also, I've got my dollar bills through the post. There's my compensation. Check. I'm rolling. I'm rolling in the money, mate. Right, so that's everything, including my coat there, which I forgot about. Um, I don't, I'm not wearing a hoodie in the car, because it's... Should I wear a hoodie in the car? I don't want to get too hot and stuffy, though. But if I, have, if I don't, then I might have to put the heating on, and then that makes it even more hot and even more stuffy. So, um... Because you can't open the window. That's my one gripe about, um... The motorway. I actually I enjoy it as a road. <laughs> as a road network, it's all right. You know, it's a good. It's and it's good that you can drive at 70 miles an hour, but you can't put the windows down at 70 miles an hour. So you're forced to either tolerate freezing, well not freezing, uh, really hotness <laughs> or stuffiness. Uh, like it's you can't really just put it on for a little bit, can you? So right, okay, what we'll happened? Um, so we've got everything. Right, I'm going to run it through in my head now with you. Tell me if I need anything else. Can't be asked to uh, do all that yet. Yeah. I don't worry back. Uh, leave that open. Heating's off, electric's off. Computer is off. I just turned it off now. Oh, you're asleep though. Why are you asleep and not off? Naughty. Oh dear, you're very feisty computer. You, you anger me. What, are you just above being turned off, are we? Is that where you are? Um, what are you doing, babe? What are you doing? So, um, I have shoes, 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 uh, one to wear at the night out, one to fix, uh, sat nap, um, apple, <laughs> fucking one out, snooker cue, um, I also have clothes, the, the t-shirts, shirt, scarf, coat, jeans, all toiletries are all sorted, as you can see, because I have none in here, bam, um, uh, and then I have for electrics, I have my laptop, including laptop charger and uh, camera charger, phone charger, um, sat nav charger, Nexus charger, all the same thing. Um, that's it. 
Happy days. I've literally only been back for two days. It's ridiculous how much stuff I'm taking. Um, okay, sat nav. I'll come back up for. Um, so I definitely won't forget it. Let's do stuff in multiple runs. Do I need my other coat? No, it's ridiculous taking two coats, Jamie. Shut up. It's gonna have to deal with the less less warm one. Um, right. I'm putting it off, aren't I? I'm, I'm trying to. I'm, let's take some backup CDs as well, just in case, because it is a bloody long way. <laughs> Uh, you and Jamie Cullum? Yay or nay? No. You and <laughs> OK Go, which is two CDs in one, so that'll do. Watsky and OK Go. Cool. I'm alright for the way up. <sighs> Let's get everything in the bloody car. Put my <laughs> the CDs in my shoebox. OK, everything's in the car that needs to go in the boot. Water for the long journey. Sat nav. Coat. Oh, it's going to be a long ass drive. It's like three hours, so I'm going to get back at about half ten. Fun, fun, fun! Let's officially go. Making good progress. It's quarter past nine. We're at Tamworth service station. Here we are. Oh, yeah, it's gone well. We're over halfway. Um, about 40 minutes left to go, I guess. I'm trying to find somewhere relatively normal to stand and film. Um, it isn't really dark outside long. That's my first experience of um, driving in the dark on the motorway. It's actually really, really so much harder than in the daytime because, like, you can't concentrate. It's like, oh, you can, well, you can concentrate, it's just blaring lights. But what's really hard to pick out in people's headlights is their indicator. You can always see the back when they're in front of you and they want to indicate, but it's quite hard to pick out, especially on newer cars. It's quite hard to pick out when they're actually indicating, which is, it's, it's not impossible, but it's like, it takes you like a, especially if they just go click, go. Like, if they go click and then it click flashes like two or three times, you're like, yep, that's the indicator. Otherwise, it just looks like they've gone over a bump or something, you know what I mean? Because it's like this new fashion now where like the lights on the front are like really fucking bright and really, really small. So it's really hard. To, I think it's hard annoying. I'm not going to lie. I don't really need to have a rest. <laughs> I just came because my, um, well, I wanted a drink, wanted a wee, um, and my sat nav had fallen off my windscreen, which is enough <laughs> for me to stop. Um, but yeah, otherwise, I should be back for about 10 o'clock-ish. Otherwise, anything exciting been going on the road? Not really. Not really, truth be told. Truth be told. Right, well, we're back and it's home time. What? Well, we're home, even, and it's, we it's bedtime. That's where, that's where we was going back to. Go on, outside. Go to we. Go on, boy. So, um, yeah, drive back was great. Uh, the, after the services at Tamworth, it was so much better. It was, um, at the beginning, the beginning, it was actually quite busy. As soon as we hit Tamworth at like nine o'clock, it was dead. The M42 was just empty. You actually, I'm actually surprised at how many road, how many motorways aren't lit. But to be fair, at night there's like a couple of lorries on it, and that's about it. Just one of the best things about going at night because you can just, just like settle down to the night shift. I also feel like I'm losing my voice because may or may not have been singing the entire way home. But yeah, we're back. We're back in uh, old Nottingham. Um, talking with Sid and Dad. Dad's in bed. Um, and yeah, I'm going to bed too now. Tomorrow, what's going on? I've got to run some errands. Oh, I'm going to shave. Oh, oh God. Um, fix my shoes. Check, cash a check. Stuff, things. And there's something else as well that I need to do. Buy a bottle of wine because I forgot wine. That's one of my, that's one, the only thing so far, touch wood, that I've forgotten was the bottle of wine I was going to bring. Um, so yeah, rookie mistake really there. So yeah, fire. Come on, doggy, get in. Go boy. Yeah, I'm gonna get going then. Um, thanks for watching this video, ladies and gentlemen. It's been a short one, I think, has it? Relatively. Um, but yeah, not a whole lot's going on. <laughs> just uh, just work and then driving. <sighs> but I did enjoy it. It took me two two hours and forty five minutes in total. Um, <laughs> oh, look at you. Um, which was pretty good. It's pretty good going. Uh, yeah, it's well, it's, no, it's about proper because I only had like a 15 minute stop instead of a half hour one. So, normally takes three hours with a half hour stop. Even though it's empty, you still do gotta do <laughs> like it's actually kind of dangerous. Like, you just watch this big massive road, it's just pitch black apart from me and other cars going that way, and um, you just like just cruising and then suddenly like 70 starts to feel like 30 and you're like fuck 
<laughs> God, this is slow. And then you're like a lorry comes up and you're like, oh, something exciting to look at for a bit. Because it's just pitch black. Ah, oh, dear. But anyway. So he's just licking himself. I'm going to take this stuff upstairs. Um, but yeah. I'll catch you guys later.